The biomedical science course it starts very broadly. We get everybody up to the same sort of level scientifically and study-wise. We start to introduce uh, topics like biochemistry, uh, some immunology, microbiology, some study skills, how to actually be a student and to start to give people the knowledge of what actually a biomedical scientist does. One of the things that makes the course uh, here at Wolverhampton stand out is the use of the, the state-of-the-art laboratory facilities that we have here at the University of Wolverhampton. Uh, we've recently completed the £23 million Rosalind Franklin building, which is where you'll undertake all of your practical classes and also for you to undertake your final year or your honours project in as well. At the end of our third year, we put in the honours project, which is the independent research project that all students must do. And that like, teaches our students how to manage in a laboratory, it teaches them um, communication skills, it gives them the organisation skills and the time management skills that they'd need to actually work in a busy laboratory. We also employ a lot of sort of learning technology on our award, which makes it stand out from the more sort of traditional sort of teaching programmes where we, you know, we have a lot of captured lectures for our students, we have whole modules that are live streamed to the internet. So it allows a level of accessibility that some students might not get at another institution. In addition to the BSc course, we also run a HND course, which is uh, very similar to the BSc course. Um, it's a two-year two course that runs as a standalone course um, in its own right, uh, which can be used to sort of get a variety of different jobs in the field of biomedical science. However, it can also be used as a stepping stone in order to get onto our three-year degree programme. Of course, our Biomedical Science Award is an accredited award, so it's accredited by the Institute of Biomedical Science and the Healthcare Professions Council, two of the governing bodies of biomedical science. And of course, that makes it stand out against all the other non-accredited awards, because a biomedical scientist on graduation can only register uh, for the Healthcare Professions Council if they have got an accredited award.